So TCM was officially removed from the Game Pass today. What are my thoughts on that? There's two sides to the whole thing. One, I see people saying, well, if you really enjoyed playing the game, why don't you spend 40 bucks on it? But I also do understand the other people's sides when it comes down to all the cosmetics people bought, the skins, the weapon packs, executions, and everything. No, I really, I really enjoyed playing TCM. It was a fun game when it was released. I mean, up until now, I still play it. Seeing it leave Game Pass, it's it's honestly kind of stupid leaving it Game Pass. The previous the previous update was probably the the worst update. Then like a day or day or so later, it's leaving Game Pass. That was probably the stupidest announcement you can give on a game. That just killed the whole fan base. This month was probably the worst month for TCM. For someone that spent over four, 400 plus hours on the game, spent over $180 on the content in the game, learning the game, just for them to remove it from Game Pass. But yet again, people are saying, well, if you did all that and you like the game, why don't you just buy it? Spend 40 bucks and just stop complaining. But for most that, you know, don't have, you know, the money for it, that's why they get a hold of the Game Pass. TCM was on the Game Pass, released on August 18th of 2023, and it released on Game Pass the 20th. So two days after the full release, they released it on the Game Pass. And honestly, I've been playing it ever since. I've been playing it on the release of it, maybe a few days when it went on Game Pass. And I've been having fun with it ever since. It's a very fun game. I do still recommend playing it, but I just wish there's like a concept of like, I don't know if you, if you're switching from like Xbox over to PC, make all your content like transferable over there on the PC, but Xbox really won't make any sense. Cause you know, you're on the same, you know, console, not going to do that, but just lower it, just lower the price. People is not going to spend $40. Some of you may disagree with that or agree. I'm, I'm not a TCM content creator or anything, but for someone that spent as much as I did on the game and you know grinded the game for it to leave game pass it's just it's probably the stupidest thing that's that's all I'm gonna say about it I do like TCM it's a fun game you know playing with friends even solo queue it's a good time waster the point that I'm getting at I know I said this before but I'm saying it again 15th or the 14th I'm not sure when that update released like I said it was probably the worst TCM update for you to remove that from players you know they're getting on there you know they're experiencing I see a bunch of new players every day on there you know they're getting on and all of a sudden they load up to Publix you know you couldn't even load into a public game to save your life dude I've seen leather faces not even seeing their chainsaw on the start I see people dying in front of me and I'm not even hitting them when they're full health I see doors Doors opening and closing without even touching it. I see victims falling out of the sky. But there is some some good things they added recently. You can now do private games by yourself. You know, practice the maps. They added a new Blood Moon on the Family House Dawn. And uh, they added the Museum Mode, which is honestly a good, you know, educational thing for DCM in the original film. And that which I enjoyed. People might disagree on what I had to say. But I, re I respect everyone's opinion on it. I, I'm just you know, saying how I feel about it leaving. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks. Thank you guys for watching and catch you in the next one.